Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am your host Lisa. Um, today's video is I'm going to do two devotionals for you. One from yesterday and one from today as well. So Monday's devotional is titled The Numbers Don't Lie. Budgeting. It's not a four-letter word, but it might as well be. You have to learn how to budget. And once you learn, it takes time to manage. But that's not the biggest reason. Most of us avoid budgeting. It's because the numbers don't lie. Budgeting shows us what we care most about and too often it's not the stuff that matters. And after the sting of that ad admission fades, it can be an important step to writing the ship again. The earth spending patterns point to a desire for instant gratification. Budgeting can help you learn to trust in God enough to wait for what you want or to show you what you don't really need. The discipline of budgeting can also help you take responsibility for what God has provided you to live on, and it can help rein in other areas in your life as well. The numbers are telling you the truth. It's time to spend what you have to fund the life that matters. And the Bible verse for this is, keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Hebrews 13, five. And today's devotional is titled, Stop the Bleeding. Perhaps the numbers have left you hopeless. The balances you owe on your credit cards could fund a small country. You send your money in so many directions that you couldn't imagine what to address first. What's the point of even trying? But say you cut your arm and started bleeding profusely. You wouldn't waste your time being glum about your plight or fret about how the cut would possibly heal one day. You'd tie some cloth around your arm to stop the bleeding. So maybe the first admission about your finances needs to be that you have a bad cut that needs immediate attention. You may not feel like you're dying, but if you're buried under the consequences of unwise spending, you're certainly not living. Putting a stopper on unnecessary spending may feel as tight as a tourniquet, but it's what has to happen first if you're going to heal, if you're ever going to heal. And the Bible verse for this is, some people eager for money have wandered from their faith and pierced themselves with money grief, many griefs. First Timothy 6.10. So I hope these find you well. I hope everyone had a great day. Um, I will be probably going live tomorrow night which is Wednesday, September 15th. Um, and I hope to see you all there. And remember, always stay positive. Never let the negative outweigh the positive. Uh, be safe, stay healthy, and be blessed. Mwah. Love you guys. Have a great night.